Hello! In this tutorial I want to show you how to make a Sudoku solver. Uh, if you don't know what is a Sudoku, I opened it already. This is a Sudoku. The purpose of this game is to write the numbers in it, but uh, there, is, there have to be uh, numbers just 1 through 9 each line uh, so row each column and each is the each this little square so if we can uh, uh, fill the gaps we win the game as we not all right and before we start the sudoku i just want to uh, make you understand how is it work I've already make a uh, make this sudoku right here so just right here and instead of the gaps I put a zero this will indicate that it's a gap all right so we will need a main loop a main while loop which will go while uh, the sudoku is solved or it cannot be solved a sudoku cannot be solved when we go through each line and we cannot write anything so anything in it uh, so make a bool value we set the set that zero uh, in the first is as a first statement in your while loop and uh, if something and we if we write something in it we just set the bool value to one that indicate that uh, there is a chance to write something again so it will go while that bool value is one all right and <coughs> the souls uh, can be examined with first count the gaps in it so every gap, every space, and and if we write something in it, just decrease this gap uh, variable. And if the gap variable is zero, it means we solved the sudoku. All right. Inside the for loop, there is two. Uh, for loop uh, inside the while loop there is two for loops one for loop is inside another it uh, ha it is just go through this array uh, as we saw in the matrix uh, tutorial so uh, first the uh, for loop goes down and the second goes uh, uh, that way all right uh, if we find something with a number, we just uh, skip it, so continue. Uh, find something, just skip it. But if we find something uh, which contains zero, then we want to examine three things. Actually, make a for loop inside that two for loop and inside the if, which goes one through nine and try to pass the value here so first it try to pass here one okay inside that for loop there is an if statement which will examine that uh, <coughs> which will examine that uh, is there a number so is it correct so first it will go that way and it find the one so it is it cannot be correct because there should there have to be just one number uh, so there have uh, mustn't be two of the same number in one row one uh, column or one square so it will first examine the row and then examine the column and then examine the square and it uh, as this function will return zero if it cannot be it is not a good number so we 
if uh, all of them is returned true we set a TMP value to that number uh, at default we set the TMP to 0 alright that but we don't stop then because if there is multiple solution for example there is good for example the 2 and uh, I don't know 3 although in this case it is not the 3 is good but the 2 is not so but if uh, we uh, think that th there is two solution we just set the TMP back to 0 indicate we don't want uh, something to write in and break out from the uh, most inner for loop with that uh, we achieve that there if there is just one solution it will be just uh, right here then oh what is that all oh, right uh, and then we make a check we will check that if there is just one solution th so the TMP isn't zero then we write into the TMP and that simple it is and actually that's it uh, after that the the outer inner for loop will go will uh, step one and go here try w the numbers one through nine here and then here here uh, this continue because it cannot do some anything with the value and here here and go on after the end uh, the while loop will go through so it will examine that if is rb succeeded and uh, the sudoku is solvable so the boolean value is 1 if so then go back here and the entire process starts over again and over again and if we are here and the while loop uh, sees that the boolean value is 1 and there is a solution which is not right in then we just jump back to the first and actually that is the algorithm it is just as simple as that so let's just start make the programming we will read the sudoku from file so we don't have to write over again the sudoku and yes no uh, while we testing but later after the algorithm work well we can um, use uh, we can make the user interface to make easier the users interact as you may presume we have to include the fstream header file uh, because uh, we need file handling and before that I forget we need a cmath header file too I didn't speak cmath header file too but we need just one function from that this is the sale uh, it's going to do it um, actually run up something all right uh, let's get started with the main function we first uh, need to declare a few variable like int on this will be how many how many gaps there are this is zero we need a row just a simple r this will be the row and we need a column and we need the temp value all right this is for int we need a bool value b which we set to one all right actually uh, the main the game table we have to set the game table I set it to global uh, just simple a we do it all right I set it to global although you, as I mentioned you shouldn't use too much global variable but this is just the sake of this tutorial so if you want you can uh, easily rewrite the program to make this uh, uh, this array right here and uh, all the and rewrite the functions to get the matrix 
although for the sake of the tutorial it make it easier. Alright then. Alright, we need the file name of the Sudoku so it will make we will make a const const char uh, file name and make it equal to a sudoku oh uh, sudoku like that uh, this file is here on my desktop the, so the same place as the program will be so the relative pass is okay alright uh, now actually this is not good here we go now we have to mm, open th actually the file so as we did earlier if stream and we will give the file name to it and uh, now if forget to name it in so I just check if it's open uh, actually I check that if isn't open and then write out something to the user like that alright and uh, actually make a code, blo code block and exit the program oh what the hell is that all right I don't know what the hell happened but uh, it's changed color I don't think so okay and we use the exit to return actually return with zero don't no one care with the error alright as it means we the open it so the file is open so we can use a simple for loop to read in alright actually two simple for loop actually okay and uh, make another in j equals 0 j less than 9 j plus plus like that and inside here we just make the read in so read in a i j like that and we make a check so So if it is zero, I talked about logical operators, so if it is zero then it become one. So it get through. And then we just uh, increase the un value, so how many gaps there are. Simple, right? Alright. And we close it, we don't need any more, so in that close. Alright. Save it before something happens and uh, now we can make actually the loop so the main loop I write it here main loop so we don't forget it while on and B so it means while there are gaps and the bool is one we made a code block because that would be a relatively long main loop actually a long loop so first of all make b equal to zero so as i said if b remains zero in the entire loop it means it cannot write anything in it so the sudoku is uh, cannot be solved